Hello and welcome. I'm Mr. Palminteri and today on distance learning I'm going to discuss using the loops function within the BandLab program. Many of my videos have included screencasts of using BandLab and that will be another one of these videos today. If you're unsure what a loop is, a loop is a preset sound that's already integrated in the BandLab program that's free to use and you're able to combine that with other sounds. So they could be drum set sounds, synthesizer sounds, string sounds, brass sounds, or even guitar sounds, bass sounds, all different types of keyboard sounds. So you're going to see me put these together and make little songs. If you've probably watched a lot of my other videos, you hear some intro and the outro music. A lot of those songs, whether they you feel they are corny or not, they were created using BandLab and using these loops. And I know many of you would have a fun time using these, just you may not know where to find them. So I will be opening up um, a new project under the Mix Editor option. You'll be seeing this in the screencast. And then I'll show you where the Loops button is and the variety of sounds. And we'll put together a couple, sounds, couple songs and if you really enjoy this, I'll show you how to download the MP3. And if you feel so inclined, feel free to send me that MP3 through an email, and then maybe I'll feature it in one of my future videos. So I hope you enjoyed today's distance learning lesson on using loops in BandLab. All right, uh, you're going to start on Google again, and then you're going to head to BandLab, edu.bandlab.com. Of course, I couldn't type it right, so I forgot the dot, but you could just go here. And here it will load up. I have Isaac here again. He's not going to be very talkative because he doesn't want to talk during this video, so that's fine. Remember when you're logging in here to use the Google under the login, if for some reason you don't have an account, please watch my video, Intro to BandLab, and you'll choose the account for this. Yeah, I want to okay. talk. You do want to talk. All right, we'll say hello. Hello. So Isaac is part of the group now, okay? Doesn't matter if you're in multiple classes, you can pick any class because this is just fun with loops. And when you get here, you're gonna go up to this little box with the music notes. It's the same thing we did for the drum track video if you've watched that. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna open up the mix editor, okay? Mix editor is gonna open up a new project. No rules, no uh, instructions or whatnot, okay? Now I would just open it up with nothing. So just click on the side. You have no tracks. If you did click a track, that's fine. Okay, let's say I click the vocal track, but I don't want the vocal track. Just click these three dots and you can delete that track. Because today we're dealing with loops. Down here is where it says loops. I'll put the little spotlight on. Over here is where it says loops. And loops will open up a window. And you're gonna have all these different options, okay? Today we're gonna, uh, go with a guy named Joe Ford. Okay, I found some of his stuff's real fun. It will turn the spotlight off at any one of these if you want to hear what it sounds like. Alien noises. Okay, that was a strange one to click. How about absurd kick? This is the bass drum. How is this Isaac one? is pointing to Joe Ford big womp bass. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with Joe Ford acoustic hats. The hi hat. And if you like one, you just drag it in over here. Oh, look, now we have Joe Ford. You want to make sure when it comes in, always drag it all the way over to the one. Or if you want it to start on measure three, drag it over to the three. And see this little arrow right here? You want to go up there and that will make it longer. Okay, and then you can press play. Okay, good. So we're going to move this down. Oh, no, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, and let's find another army of kicks this is another um bass drum okay let's drag that one over here and you'll notice unless it goes in this box it won't go in can you try that one the womp bass we'll try the womp bass let me move this over you can see it mimics the sound you're gonna hear isaac's asking for the womp bass to be thrown in here Okay, I have another bass I want to try, the Reese 3. Well. Okay. Ah, 
and you get that stop playing, just click it again. To make more space on the screen over here, there's an X over here to close out the open window. So let's close that out and you'll see more base, more space coming up. Always drop your loops in this box. Okay, and so we have another base. We're going to put that on top of Womp Base. Let's take Womp Base out. Now, All there's right. no, now there's no Henry Ford. There's in this no Joe Henry Ford. Ford, just Joe Ford, okay? Uh, now we're going to go to a one I found about flutes. I haven't found too much flute music in here, but it's called Joe, Joe Ford Messed Up Flutes. <laughs> so we're going to put the flutes in here right around measure five. Okay, let's line that up with measure five, okay? And you'll hear how that, let's move this over to measure three, and let's hear how that's going to work out. Okay, Isaac originally said he wasn't going to talk during this video, and now he's like all about this video. So he likes this. So hopefully you guys will Ooh, like it too. Clapping. So I'm going to look for another one down here, uh, one I used before. It's called the Joe Ford Stretched Vocal. Here it is. It's not very loud, but we're going to bring it over here. And you can hear it a little bit. But one way to make this louder is there's a volume knob over here. I can turn this up over here. Now you hear it a little bit more. Can you say that one? Kind of a background noise. Strange bit. All right, now you notice I hit the M button over here. This is mute. I'm muting those sounds. Okay, which one do you want to try? I want to try strange break. Strange break. A lot of times break here means a drum break. Okay. Okay. And I found one more song, one more part. It's called the Pluck. Almost okay, done. Pluck Arp. Here it comes. It's quiet. Yeah, I thought it was louder than this. Oh, here it comes. All right, let's put it over here just so we can hear it. All right, so we're going to add that in a little later. We'll add that in right here. And let's hear how this sounds. Turn that up. So that's a way to turn up an individual sound. Okay. You could also turn all of these sounds down. Now I want to show you one other technique. You can click this little button on, and this will actually change. You can change the volume within a track. So watch here. I'm going to bring the volume all the way down, click another little dot, and then I'm going to raise the volume up. Actually, you know what? Let me move this over. I'm going to raise the volume up. And then in the middle of it, we're going to raise it back down. So now you'll be able to hear it. I can turn that back off and you'll watch the volume knob over here. It will go up and down. Watch it. Okay, I felt like that could have been a little bit louder. So we're going to go even louder and we're going to go even there. All right, let's try that one more time. Can I go upstairs? Okay, and then the same process as we did in the drum video, to save this and download it, you would go to Mix Down As under File, and then you probably have to do this two or three times to get it to work. That's just the way it works when you're trying to download it. If you do like your project and you want to send me one, I could possibly maybe use it in a new video. Okay, so I would use my intro and my outro. So please feel free to send me one. Obviously, we're getting close. It didn't get to 100%. So you go down, download is mixed down again. It starts at 50%. And then usually the second time, it will pull up a dialog box that will say uh, download is MP3. So we're almost there. And Isaac's going to say bye. You want to say goodbye? Say yeah, goodbye. All right. All right, and now our download box comes up. Medium quality MP3 is good, and then it will export it. 
Okay, I should have shown you how to change the name beforehand, but we'll call this Cool Loop. All right, or Cool Loops. And that's pretty much it, okay? It should be saving each time, but you can click Save. Now you've downloaded it over here, and you could just email that to me. You can go back to your library. Oh, it's still saving. Oh, now it's done saving. Go back to your library, and then you'll see Cool Loops. I have vocal intro. I have a few different songs in here and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the loops. Thank you for watching today. I hope you learned a lot about using loops in BandLab. None of this is a mandatory project. Just in case you were interested in using the loops function, I wanted to give you that opportunity and give you the instruction on how to do that. This is open for any vocal or instrumental student to use. And I hope if you do have some time and you are interested in the program, you will take a look and use this video to your advantage. Thank you and have a great day.